Thank you for clicking Dr. Samurai channel. In this video, I would like to discuss Mr. Michael Jackson, especially focusing on his truly caring personality, which most of the people do not even know. My name is Dr. Samurai. I'm a professor specialized in international social pathology and also an active prison counselor of 20 years experience. As usual, I would like to provide you some basic brief information first and then like to move on to our main discussions. Hoping this video will deepen your understanding of who Mr. Michael Jackson really was. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. I am referring this video to an article titled Michael Jackson once stopped a concert to save a bug and it's making people reconsider what happened at the Astro World Festival uploaded for Bad's feed online. As so many of you know, on November 5th Astro World Festival, eight people died and so many more were injured during the Mr. Travis Scott's performance. As opposed to that, there is one hot warming episode in relation to Mr. Michael Jackson. In the middle of a song during his concert, he goes, Security, could you get this bug? I don't want anybody to step on this. Don't kill it, though. Don't kill it. Michael repeated. The security guard, who already began to exit the stage with the bug, rounded back to show Michael that uh, it was still alive before exiting the stage. Satisfied, Michael focused again on the crowd who largely applauded his actions and some can be heard yelling and encouraging, I love you. In the comment section of the video, many are comparing Michael's actions to those of Mr. Travis Scott at the Astro World. This basic information is pretty much it. Oh, by the way, if you like this kind of uh, social discussions, please click that uh, green and yellow Dr. Samuel logo. Let me get back. So, Michael, who is known to be very strict in terms of performances during his concert, actually stopped such important concert only to save a life of small bug on the floor, because uh, he was afraid that uh, other dancers came out and step on him without knowing it. What? A heartwarming story this is. Michael kept repeating, don't kill it, don't kill it. This means it is not a casual, whimsical act of his. He is serious about things like that. I actually served as, an, served as a translator for Mr. Michael Jackson when he visited Japan. I think it was in the uh, year 1999. My translation was only one time deal and it lasted like one hour or so. And so many uh, people in media got together at the site. It was martial arts related event and uh, I was always right next to Michael. 
People ask me, how did he look? Honestly, because I was too close to tell his face. It's like, uh, you know, physically touching distance. While somebody else was talking, I was not uh, doing uh, translating and I was talking to uh, Mr. Michael about uh, something else, like a bodyguard who was exactly the same bodyguard that picked the bug and returned to show the bug to Mr. Michael. Very uh, big and strong looking guy. At the time, there were five stalwart big bodyguards guarding Mr. Michael. That the leading uh, security guard was uh, shouting that uh, don't hit the flashlight at uh, Mr. Michael because he hates it. And I go like, do you really hate the flashlight? And he goes, no. He received the honorable fourth degree black belt of uh, one full contact karate group called uh, Shidokan. And uh, I was teaching him, uh, when you uh, receive the black belt and uh, karate uniform, you go like, us, as all the karate fighters do. And it is going to uh, make the crowd applaud you and stuff like that. And he actually did that exactly as I instructed him. And I still remember, you know, his fingernail. I saw some uh, black stuff at the tip of his uh, fingernail, as with uh, those uh, hands of little kids who uh, play with the mud and so on. It was uh, kind of funny to see things like that on uh, Mr. Michael Jackson's finger. I translated what was necessary only and all the rest we were talking about uh, meaningless stuff and he kind of liked it but uh, when the time came those five bodyguards one of them grabbed his arm and just uh, took him out of the sight so to me it was like wow it was like a dream, you know, because it was so short and he suddenly disappeared. But uh, he suddenly came back totally by himself. And it looks like uh, he is coming toward me. I was like, what's going on, you know? And he came to me, reached out his hand and shaked hands with me. Then he get back on his way out to his car, I guess. So he took the trouble of coming all the way back just to shake hands with me who was nobody at the time. I was uh, it was very hot, warming incident to me. The reason he died young was uh, because he could not sleep. I assume his mind was hyperactive when he is awake. And uh, it must have been very difficult for him to switch off his hyperactive mind. That's why he became dependent on the use of propofol. I speculate his sensitivity did not allow him to fall into sleep. And I guess he was always tired because he could he was always short of sleep. While he had to perform like king of pop on every stage he performed. And the uh, contents of his songs, which sang about 
human love. And also, some of you may be wondering why he was into、uh, children. The reason is simple. He could not have childhood. His life started as a Michael Jackson of Jackson 5. He could not enjoy what the ordinary kids could enjoy. All those、uh, usual plays other kids were enjoying. He、uh, unconsciously wanted to go back to what he missed during his. Childhood. That's the reason, and、uh, that's why he felt、uh, comfortable with、uh, children rather than adult people. That said, I'd like to go back to Michael stopping his important concert just to save one bug. This tiny act, which was not known in public for a long time, in this one Tiny incident that this small bug Mr. Michael Jackson saved because he really cared about life signifies quint essential part of his personality. I would like to say he really cared about every each one of the lives. Regardless of they are humans or other living beings, including bugs. That's all I like to say. And、uh, lastly, I just like to say knowing life is only once. I mean, I can live. Only one life. I was really blessed to have this opportunity to see Mr. Michael Jackson as a genuine caring person. Thank you very much, and、uh, up until next time, please listen to.、Uh, Mr. Michael Jackson's songs, if you can, that could tell you something new that、uh, you did not recognize while he was still alive on this planet Earth. Wherever you are, my friend, bye bye now.